one of the things I love doing on this channel is reaching out to the community. The community reaches out to me and says, hey, I'd love to come on and kind of tell my story. In this particular video, we're going to hear from Kyle, who's actually in three different markets. We're going to find out why the heck he's doing that. We're going to talk about what he's doing to get started and all of that. So, Kyle, welcome to the show, man. How are you doing? Hey, Michael. Thanks for having me. Big fan. Big call. Thank you for that. Well, uh, Kyle, we always start this with like, who is Kyle? What do you do? You know, where are you in this crazy world? Uh, so kind of give us the, you know, the two minutes on who is Kyle. All right. Uh, so I'm Kyle. I live in Montana. I'm originally from Pennsylvania. I uh, moved out here in 2017, 2018 or so. Um, okay. I have a small trucking company, just a owner operator, no employees or anything like that. Um, that I started when I was 18, wow. uh, made it full time when I was 21, I want to say. Um, and, uh, I'm 31 now. Uh, okay. so I've moved out here to Montana and, uh, just didn't like the East coast. So, um, here I am. And was always looking at buying a property with uh, two houses on it because I wasn't ever home very much. So I figured, well, you know, I can live in a small house and rent out the main house. So that's kind of what I did. So I actually live okay. in a, uh, it's almost like a barn shed. It's like 14 by 26, um, where it's not really the true tiny house, but, you know, step up and okay. uh, rent out the main house. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of how I got started with all this. So you start out house hacking. Uh, what year was that? And that's in Montana, correct? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 2019. All right. Sure. I always like to hear about the first thing. I forgive me. I have no idea what properties cost in Montana. What what did what, what did it cost roughly in 2019? Main house and a little little house in the back. Uh, uh, a little bit over two hundred thousand. And now okay. uh, I'm about an hour south of uh, Missoula, Montana, kind of on the west end of the state. Okay. And uh, median home prices over there are like five seventy five right now. Um, so it's it's nuts, and the rents have not kept up whatsoever. Wow, wow! And it was always your intention to live in the back house, right? That's 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 why that. Oh yeah. Right, did you? Okay, very cool. And it existed oh, yeah. beforehand. It was already ready. You didn't have to do any remodeling or anything. It's like, hey, move in ready. Basically, yep, yep. Very, very cool. All right. So you do that starting in 2019. You're already an entrepreneur. You're running a trucking company. Um, what do you, what do you do next? Where, where where do you go? Um, so I always had a vision of building more rental properties. Um, I thought you know pay off this house first and then buy more properties. Okay. And then I started uh, doing some research online, found you, and found out there's a better way of doing it. <laughs> <laughs> so I kind right. of. Uh, Wasted some time just kind of building up, uh, you know, liquid and, uh, you know, needless to say, I didn't deploy it with my uh, first game plan on paying off this property before buying other ones. So, um, so I started, you know, looking around here in Montana, you know, for, you know, buy properties, buy and hold long-term rentals sure. and uh, could not make the numbers work. Um, and I haven't been a small town. There's only 1,700 people in town. Oh, wow. Um and Missoula, yeah, 1700. It might have went up now uh, over the last couple of years. Call it 2000. It's exploded. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So just couldn't make the numbers work here. And I spent, oh, probably eight months um, okay. looking, you know, throughout the whole state of Montana. And the problem is there's things are very far and few between. There's not a whole lot of population. Um, Billings is the biggest city, um, which, by the way, I met Keto because you brought him on your show oh, over nice. a year ago. Uh, so I spent the whole day with him. He's about 400 miles uh, east of oh, me. Wow. Wow. Um, and then, you know, there's Missoula and just it was just negative returns, negative cash flow. Um, and right. everything else is small towns where, you know, it's less than, you know, 5,000. And I just wasn't comfortable with that kind of population. I think that's, I think, I think you hit on a couple of things. I get asked all the time about small markets and, you know, some people, small markets, 50,000, 2000 is certainly a small market. It's very dicey in my opinion, in the small market. Uh, I like a hundred thousand or more, but again, you can find people being successful in markets under, it's just not where I play. Like, like the lumberjack, I think he's at, I think he's got markets like 25,000 or 30,000. So it can be done. 